welcome back to Tommy's World. You already know it's your girl Tommy, and I am back with another video. First of all, I just want to say hi, guys. To the people over in the live chat because you guys are always the first to be here the first to show up show out and i just want you to know that i appreciate that okay so i have definitely been gone for a really long time and i figured the best sort of video to do after such a long break would be a life update video because child i literally left you guys like a youtuber who had a scandal and had to disappear for a few months and then come back and assume innocence am i allowed to say that on here anyway there has been so much that has been happening my life has literally been a roller coaster ride and i just want to fill you guys in get you guys caught up so you guys know what's happening and then we can move on to more regularly scheduled programming so if you guys are interested in a life update video you should definitely stay tuned because i will be talking about youtube my health relationships and also my professional life and what my decision is for the upcoming school year on the JET program. So without further ado, grab your popcorn, grab your tea, grab your snacks, whatever you need to grab because girl, this is gonna be better than like a lifetime documentary. The first thing I wanted to catch you guys up on is YouTube and what has been happening with that. Initially, the plan was to take a break just from the last video that I posted in December until after my birthday, which was January 2nd. And then I was supposed to come back and post videos as usual. However, life started getting in the way in a really bad way. And also YouTube in itself was giving me so much drama, girl. Like... All the videos that I posted before were starting to get copyright strikes after copyright strikes. So every time I'm like, okay, I'm gonna go back to YouTube, I get an email from YouTube saying, your video has been copyright striked. And I'm like, bro, how is this even possible? Like this music that I was using in the vlogs was fine just a few months ago. So how can you copyright it? But apparently after a little bit of Google searching, I found out that after the songs get a little bit popular, the artists start to claim them so that they can get paid for the music, which, okay, cool, you wanna get paid for your stuff that you built, everyone wants to get paid. I totally understand, but it's just so weird with like music on YouTube because no one wants to watch a vlog that has no music, just no one wants to watch that. So if I'm going to do a vlog, I always try to make sure that the music in the background is popping. People can enjoy like listening to it while watching all the places that I'm taking you to in Japan. But because all these videos are being copyright striked, it's not really something that has to do with my channel. Like it doesn't bug my channel that much, but that just means that I don't get paid for these videos anymore unless I like take out the music and doing that is just really mendokasai and I don't got the time but also I want to get paid because I worked really hard creating these videos so YouTube in itself has been like really annoying and there has been just so much other stuff happening that I'm like you know what it's nice to like put one thing aside and not have to worry about it because my mental health has not been good and we needed to like get rid of some of the things that were like causing me to not have good mental health so that we could get back to this place where I could sit before you guys and chat and have fun with you guys. So that's what happened with YouTube, but hopefully after this video, I'm back for good. There are so many things that are happening this year, so I know that my posting schedule won't be as perfect as it used to be, but I will definitely be trying a lot harder than I used to, hopefully. Okay, let's move on to point number two, baby. Relationships. So I have definitely been very open about my relationships here on YouTube. I like to tell you guys all the crazy dating experiences that I have had dating in Japan, whether it's a Japanese person or a foreigner. I just like to share how ridiculous my life is because as I said before, like my life is literally a joke, <laughs> especially the dating part. Listen, bro. 
Anyway, I have decided that I didn't really want to date that much this year. I didn't want to date at all, but I ended up going on a date earlier in January. But that was literally a mistake because... Not really that it was a mistake, as in the date wasn't good or anything. It was just a mistake because I wasn't planning to go on a date this year. But I was vacationing in Tokyo with my friend and I met this guy on Tinder because I like using Tinder while I'm traveling, like I'm not near my house. Because it's kind of embarrassing to use Tinder when you're near your house because you see people on Tinder that you normally see on the bus or people that I work with and I... Girl, it's not the vibe. So I was using Tinder in Tokyo and I met this Japanese guy. He literally super liked me and I remember like reaching out and I was like, Oh, that super like must have been a mistake because Japanese guys never really hit me up. I was trying to be modest. I know I'm fine as hell. But you know, you gotta try to be like... <laughs> so yeah, I was like, yeah, it must have been a mistake. And funny enough, I was wearing this exact shirt on the first date that me and this guy went on. Anyway, he took me to Tokyo Skytree because I was telling him that I'm not from Tokyo. And we had a really good time. It was all laughs, all jokes. He's such a funny guy. He was spending his money. Like, he's like, what do you want to eat? You should get a snack now. I'm like, oh, so he's not gonna comment on the fact that I'm fat? Because a lot of Japanese guys do that. And I'm not just talking about to me. Like, in general, they'll be like, oh, I think you should lose some weight. Yeah, like, body shaming is a thing here. But he wasn't trying that. He was feeding me, took me everywhere. We went to this Pokemon store. I'm like, oh my god, I love Pokemon so much. The lie detector determined. That was a lie. I like Pokemon. I only know about Pokemon because I watch Pokemon with my cousin. I'm not a big anime fan, but luckily he was like, oh, do you know any anime? And I'm like, yeah, Pokemon. Then he took me to this Pokemon store and I'm like, oh, Pikachu. Thank God for that one cousin who was like really into anime or I wouldn't know anything. But we had a really good time on this date. And this was like on the 29th or on the 30th and so he was like oh he wants to go out with me again he wants to meet up with me before i head back over to kobe which is where i live so i was like okay cool so we ended up going out on january 1st because the second would be my birthday and i was leaving on the third and we also had a good time on that day but he lives in tokyo i live in kobe we literally just met I wasn't trying to like have a long distance relationship. So that is literally the only date I have been on this year. But I've been taking some time to just focus on me, work with myself, get through all the problems that I have been going through that we are going to be getting into really quickly, really soon. It's coming up next, okay? And I really just haven't had the time to date. Like I'll go on Bumble, scroll through for a while and then I'm like, what the hell am I doing on here? That's a video for a next time. So life update point number Number three, my health. Because health is wealth and I have neither. <laughs> I promised myself that I would not cry in this video and I have so many things that are so painful to talk about but I just really want to be as transparent as possible because every time I open up about certain things on my Instagram stories which is where I do a lot of posting so if you don't follow me on Instagram go ahead and do so I will leave the name of my Instagram somewhere around the screen so you can go and check that out but my health has not been that good as of recent. I mean, it all started, well, I think it all started when I was in Tokyo. In Japan, we have a lot of stairs. Like, there are stairs everywhere, which is always so weird to me because Japan has one of the oldest living population, so why don't they have more like elevators and escalators to help these old people? But I guess that's why so many old people are alive because they're always exercising. Anyway, I'm straying from the point. So I was climbing the stairs to the train station and there are a lot of stairs in literally every station and I would realize that I'm always out of breath but I've been putting on a lot of weight lately, not gonna lie, you don't look this good without putting on a little weight, baby. <laughs> so I thought I was just out of shape and that is understandable, I'm putting on weight and I'm like, yeah, for the new year, I'm gonna hit the gym. I'm gonna get in shape. I really just thought it was an issue to deal with me being a little bit out of shape. But once I got back to Kobe and I started going to school, I think it was my first day back at school, I realized that something was extremely wrong. I felt dizzy. My stomach was hurting 
so bad and I just did not feel good at all I'm like no something is not right I got to work the morning and I immediately told my Kyoto sensei that I was leaving I had to go to the doctor and once I got to the doctor they checked my blood and stuff and it came out that I was extremely anemic my red blood cell levels were like a lot lower than they should be the normal level for everyone is 12 I think for adults but I was at like a 6.8 which was almost half and <sighs> If you don't know what like red blood cells are for, those are the things in your body that like fight diseases and stuff and just helps you to be healthy. So the fact that it was that low was really worrying and they actually sent me to another hospital because they're like you need to get this checked out right away. Once I got to the other hospital, the doctor told me that he thought I should do a blood transfusion. That would be the quickest way to bring it up because at the current rate he doesn't even know how I'm operating because anyone else who had that level could not be like moving around and being normal like I was being when he told me that I was scared out of my mind but also the fact that I was so severely anemic was very hard for me I couldn't do much and apparently I was anemic for a really long time before this and I always just thought I was probably just lazy I just needed to try harder to like motivate myself because that's the type of culture we live in these days everyone is like you just gotta get up you just gotta keep going so I always thought I was just super lazy because I was always so tired especially after moving to Kobe and I was teaching like five classes every day with junior high school and elementary school kids so I was like I just need to get time to adjust but that was just my health really deteriorating so that day I stayed in the hospital for a really long time because I had to do the blood transfusion and then I got on iron medication and when I got onto the iron medication it made me even more sick I was menstruating for like 28 days straight which was making me even more weak because I was losing all this blood that the pill was supposed to be helping me to keep and it was like really really heavy menstruation. I remember one day in particular it was so bad that I ended up getting spotting at school. The girls who get it get it and the girls who don't don't. I don't want to get so deep into it. Yeah so I was taking this medication to feel better but it was actually making me feel so much worse and I started to like get worried because I was still always dizzy and it wasn't feeling better like I messaged my aunt and she introduced me to a doctor that she knows back in the states and me and the doctor talked and then the doctor was like well try having them put you on birth control but the doctors here in Japan said that I couldn't go on birth control if I was also taking iron medication which the doctor in the US said it shouldn't be a problem like you can take two pills but it was a big thing they weren't gonna do it and I just didn't know what to do and one weekend I was home because at this time I was still working I was tired out of my mind I was always so sick and just grumpy I was not myself I mean you guys know how the five days of menstruating goes like once those five days kick in you are a different person so imagine 28 days of this so one weekend I was home I just couldn't get out of bed I was so depressed because I was sick I was wondering if I was ever gonna get better I'm away from my family I don't have a lot of friends here especially since I just moved to Kobe I don't know a lot of people and my school had to give me like two weeks off well not my school <laughs> not my school my doctor suggested that I should take two weeks off and I had a meeting with the people from my board of education and they told me that okay if I wanted to take two weeks off then it's for my health and I should take care of myself so they gave me this time off to rest and I was not getting any better so I ended up going back to school sick as hell I was menstruating I was in severe pain I was taking two iron tablets plus at least four ibuprofens a day just to like offset the pain that I was in so I was on like six pills every day and I'm like I am 24 years old I cannot continue to live like this so one weekend I was home and I was like I'm just gonna feel the pain because probably I somehow deserve this because at this time I was like at the doctor drawing blood every couple of days just trying to figure out what was wrong with me most of my paycheck in January and February went directly into doctor's pockets and I'm like I just 
I can't. So I laid in bed and then the pain started to disappear. And I'm like, what the hell? So on Sunday, I again didn't take any medication and the pain by this time was basically gone. So I called my sister and I was like, I think the pills are making me sick. The pills that were supposed to make me better. She's like, well, take less of them and then see what happens. So I started to take just one a day after breakfast and I felt so much better. I finally stopped menstruating. I finally started getting my energy back. Plus, I was still taking at least one pill, so it was giving me the iron that I needed to get. So I started feeling a little bit better, a little bit more myself, and that's when I started posting on Instagram again and started becoming more active on my socials again, and that's how I'm back here. And just when you think my life couldn't get any worse, it did, because now we are gonna go into my professional life. Point number four. I'm not really going to talk so much about all the things that are happening in my professional life in this video because if you guys follow me on Instagram again I talk a lot on my Instagram story so you already know what has been happening with that but this video is already getting super duper long so I'm just going to give you a summary of what's happening so basically I moved from Yamaguchi to Kobe I am having the worst time in Kobe Everything from racism, discrimination, and just a bad workplace has been happening and everything in between. And because of that, I would reach out and try to get help and I didn't get the help that I needed. So I decided that, okay, it was time to head back to Jamaica. So on my recontracting papers, I signed nope. I would not be staying in Japan so this summer I will be heading back to Jamaica which is a decision that I did not make lightly but there is a time and you know when that time is when it comes that it's like okay it is just time to go home I want to be around my family I want to see and do so many things and most of all I just feel like I need to kind of recharge for a little bit I definitely don't know what my next move is going to be professionally, but I know that I have already quit Jet. It's just a matter of finishing out my contract and then I will be heading home to see my family and friends and just kind of recharge and get back to the Tomi that I know because this Tomi that is sad and always sick is not the one that I know so of course stuff happens and you either glow through it and grow through it or you give up and giving up is never an option for me because so many people have done so many things to make sure that I am the woman that I am today and if you think I am not going to make those people proud you must be crazy anyway guys that is it for this video i really wanted to answer all the q a questions that i collected on instagram a while back but this is definitely not the video for that because this video is already super duper long thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like share and subscribe and i will see you guys in the next video bye guys Mwah. Ha <laughs> ha